On the second day of Prime's Miss, this trailer gave to me. And day two of Prime's Miss, already off to an awesome start. Animated Battle Damaged Optimus Prime. This is the Deluxe class. I actually like this in some ways more than the Voyager. This is one of the larger, more intricate figures you're going to see on Prime's Miss. So, I don't want to take too much time getting into too many details. But you do have his Energon Axe, which is a way better accessory than what we got with the Voyager class animated Prime. One odd thing, especially revisiting this guy, I forgot he had these fake but also not fake wheels inside his legs. Because how he transforms, he doesn't have like the, the leg fold up and like the wheels are, you know, all down there. Uh, that actually goes into the torso, so he ends up with uh, fake but again also not fake perfectly working wheels on the back. Very nice accurate vehicle mode. Honestly, one of the best interpretations of Animated Prime. I love Animated Prime. This is so cool. Let's get into it. Let's transform him. Uh, so the transformation is pretty pretty simple, not too much. It does have slider joints at the legs, something we don't really see nowadays. Kind of difficult to work with those though, given the fact that he, uh, you know, there's not really a very clear way to do it. I've also found like trying to get his legs fully popped all the way back takes a little bit of force, but it's doable. <laughs> um, Let's see, uh, he basically just wanted to dismantle his, his upper half. One thing I love are how the arms form. Look at that, I've never seen an Optimus with arms that actually form from the side like this. I just think it's so interesting. And I love how this kind of folds over and it results in a very awesome looking robot mode. These panels too, they'll fold away and actually add to his physique. Uh, this panel right there will slot in. That'll go right there. Uh, and then we'll take this, put it on his back, and you can see these panels actually do add to like the physique of his back. Pretty simple transformation from vehicle to robot, but what you get is a very nice looking animated Prime. I don't think the robot mode's as accurate as the Voyager class, but I have to say, it's really nice looking. I, I really do enjoy it, the articulation's really nice. I love the battle damage. You don't see battle damage too much nowadays, I say, as we had a whole line with the whole gimmick being they're battle damaged. But it was a one-off thing with this guy. Uh, I guess they're kind of just going off the, the whole trend that uh, the first movie had where they had battle damaged figures. It's it's cool, man. I really like it. The articulation's really nice. Man, I just, I miss animated. I'm very excited to hear the animated maybe seeing a return in Transformers Legacy. Very exciting, very cool. But yeah, here we go. Day two of Prime's Miss. Looking at a animated deluxe prime. He does have a feature. He's kind of got a He-Man style spring in his in his torso. He also came with a deluxe Cybertronian Megatron, which is also a very nice figure. I do have that one. Yeah, man, look at that. Oh, I love Deluxe Optimus Prime. Something about him. When Optimus Prime's a deluxe class, I just enjoy it. Uh, not all the time. Sometimes they're kind of duds. But still, just having a smaller Optimus. It's just really satisfying. I love how the back forms. I've already said it, but I just love that physique. Look at that. Look at his silhouette, man. He's got these big, strong shoulders. And I love how the wheels integrate into the body. Again, not necessarily accurate, but it just looks really cool. Alrighty. Day two, said and done. Let's see what day three will bring. 